Hi, my name is Martin Entz. I'm an agronomist at the University of Manitoba. We're at Carmen, Manitoba, where we have um, a 15-acre uh, organic crop rotation uh, system, uh, an organic farm, really. And I just want to explain uh, the rotation. Um, it is a six-year rotation that begins with a pea oat green manure, then spring wheat, then soybean, then it goes back to a green manure, which is a barley hairy vetch, which we'll talk about in a moment, and then flax, and then oats. So um, I just want to give you a, a little picture of the, um, uh, the barley hairy vetch uh, green manure phase and tell you how we use it to reduce tillage in organic farming. So this crop here um, is, uh, is a mixture of barley and hairy vetch and uh, this was uh, seeded about uh, six weeks ago and uh, the way we manage this is to uh, allow the barley to um, go into uh, into heading and into flowering and then we use a blade roller to uh, over this whole area and the blade roller will crimp the barley but our experience is that the hairy vetch will continue to regrow after the, the rolling operation. And so then we have a mat of fibrous um, grass on the surface and the hairy vetch will, will regrow right as long as there's water right until freeze up. And uh, we may roll it again later in the season, but it's really the, the, the low temperature during the winter that will kill the hairy vetch. So we end up with a, a mulch um, of uh, barley hairy vetch uh, residue on the surface and uh, last year this produced 14 tons per hectare of dry matter for the mulch um, and uh, we, we know that we want to produce at least five tons per hectare of mulch so that we can zero till a crop into here next year and have enough mulch to suppress the weeds. So this is uh, what happens the year after the barley hairy vetch mulch. We've seeded the crop to flax. Uh, it's, today is the 29th of June and the flax will probably start flowering in about uh, a week. Um, you can see it's very weed free. And uh, why is that? Well, and, and this is the, um, the seventh organic crop. So there are weeds in here. But if we come closer here, you can see the the, uh, the thing that's, that's suppressing the weeds is the mulch. So this is the barley hairy vetch mulch. You can see the barley stalks that were killed last year, they're still intact here. And they're anchored, so it's easy to seed into this, um, into this uh, mulch. And then the hairy vetch uh, skeletons are laying on top, so this is slowly leaching nutrients into the soil for the flax. And suppressing weeds. And it's also interesting to look at the mulch. You can see the, the roots of the flax are very, very close to the soil surface. And uh, we would anticipate that this would also really help. So you can see the flax roots right up at the soil surface. Uh, there would be mycorrhizal activity here. and um, but, but at any rate, um, we get pretty good suppression. Not complete eradication of weeds, but certainly enough uh, enough suppression so that the flax has got a very high yield potential. And uh, last year we produced 32 bushels of flax on an area this big in, in the same system. So what we're exploring is the notion of reducing tillage in organic agriculture and in areas where we can produce enough mulch to suppress weeds. Mulch really is something that we're excited about as a way of, of suppressing weeds without tillage. This is the third year of the rotation. We're now uh, growing oats, obviously. And um, in this experiment, uh, well, in what you're looking at here to uh, my left is oats grown under the, the no-till system. So just to remind you, we had the barley hairy vetch in here. Uh, last year we grew flax into the rolled uh, uh, hairy vetch barley. And this year we seeded flax, and we still haven't tilled this land. This is the the uh, this is the second year of full no-till, and you can see there are some winter annual weeds in here, but pretty good oat crop. 
and on my right is the organic oats that were tilled. We, we tilled the land after harvesting the flax and uh, we have fewer weeds. Well, there are weeds in the understory. Uh, there's not as many winter annual weeds. But uh, what, we're, what we're doing in this little area here is we are uh, planning to go with a continuous no-till system under organic and compare it to the conventional till. Um, and uh, uh, this is research. We don't know how it's going to go. We're going to build up perennial weeds here and we may have to use sheep or even pigs to deal with them. But that's the plan.